What's up, guys? This is uh, Eric Johnson, and this is Kevin Raymond. Um, so we just wanted to actually go over uh, what happened at Extreme Rules 2018 in that main event Intercontinental Championship match between Dolph Ziggler and Seth Rollins. As you can tell, I lost my voice. Cause, uh, yeah, we both kind of did. Mine's kind of um, healing a bit. but I was screaming the whole time like a drunken maniac. And um, so basically this is how it goes. Our section was pretty rowdy throughout the night. We had a lot of fun, a lot of random chance. We Most were, of us had too much to drink. Yeah, I'll admit I did. Um, you might not believe it. Our section is the one who started the countdown chance. Me and Eric Johnson here so, thought it'd be funny at first. Okay, so th those first, everyone will agree, those first few minutes was horrible of that Iron Man match. And okay? it was hilarious. It was, it was horrible. Every channel I've seen has thought the first couple times we did it was hilarious well what happened we start doing it you know our okay, section's well, well, loving uh, it let's just go through the whole entire thing slowly yeah right? we'll do it slowly so, so um we were, we were pretty bored so i can't remember if it was me or you we saw 10 I, I, I think i was like 10 Nine, all of a sudden, the whole entire row. Like, we're talking just the row. Well, we had some pretty rowdy fans in the 107 okay. as well. So they, they joined Behind us. the cameras. And we did our own buzzer. We all laughed, high five you know, each other. Everyone's laughing. And oh, dude, we were a drunken mess. A couple. And then, oh, then all of a sudden, uh, the second time, let's do it again. Ten, nine. I could hear it. Our whole section's now doing it with us. Yeah. Um, okay. From then on. And they just... joined. And by the way, this is going on. At the 27, 26 minute if mark. If you watch, listen very closely, as much as it might be cringeworthy for you, you will hear it okay. through minute per minute. Okay. It started off way earlier than everyone else. Like, called Hall and Russell. Okay, Talk. right. The 23 minute mark is when it just gets to be, we went way too far. I mean, if I mean, we, we kept it, going because, you know, why be the one guy out of the crowd uh, not doing right. something? Right. Oh, I mean, uh, I kept we're going entertainers. Look at us. We're here. We're, I kept we, going. We thought it was like, funny. Well, I kept going because I said, you know what? Fuck it. Might as well finish what you started. I okay. And I will be the first to admit, you know, the rest of the match was fine. You could actually hear burn it down chants in there as well. I know I was cheering for Seth. I like Seth. And as much hate as we get anything like that, I got to tell you, it went farther than we thought it would. We're, then again, we're the same fans that try to chant Chris Benoit at wrestling events, okay? Um, yeah, uh, I think... Uh, I, I remember getting a little bit of the wave started. Yeah, we were trying to get the wave started uh, during Roman because, and Lashley, and that, that Yeah, Roman and well. Lashley, because that match sucked ass, so... But, I mean, look, uh, okay, I'm a firm believer in if, uh, if the product in front of you is shit right there, you got to make your own entertainment, you know? And you you got to entertain the fans somehow... We, we, Obviously, we did a better job at entertaining the fans than WWE did. That whole pay per view was shit. And if you don't believe okay. it, oh, I love it. We There's, got you're not. Hold on, hold on. We got the clock over. That is pathetic. That is pathetic. When your product doesn't entertain your fans, but a clock does, and to the point where Kevin Dunn and Dude. Vince McMahon both have to shut the clock off to shut people up. Now, I don't care if you hate us for it. What I gotta say is, what does that prove? It means. Stir, stir, stir the marks gently down the stream. People will follow what they find is funny or what they like. Or entertaining. What's entertaining? Hey, what that blows on what's the crowd, entertaining. By the way, these people that show up to WWE events, they're not all from Pittsburgh. That's what I love no. about people, too. It's, okay. I, I met people we have, we from met, we, Philly. Yeah, there's people from Philly, Erie, Buffalo, Buffalo surrounding we areas. To them. It's not just Pittsburgh. I mean, yeah, generally, the majority. Uh, Ma the majority them. is. But there were people from Erie and Buffalo doing the chant, too. You going to make fun of them? Yeah, see, it blew out of proportion. I'm not going to lie. It was not supposed to It was supposed the to be show. the three times. It was like the first three times was funny. It was funny the first three times. But when the rest of the drunken I'm crowd sorry. picked up. Whenever you have the rest of the crowd doing it and you started that, you're going to be like, oh, hell yeah. But Let's keep going, but dude. We're the leaders now. Way. No one complained about Beach Ball Mania. All right, no one complained about Beach Ball. No That's one complained okay. about That's the That's okay CM to Punk do chance. whenever Cesaro's wrestling. Everyone says, you got to respect Cesaro. I do, too. But, I mean, when I'm never Beach Balls were going off in the middle of his match the first time at WrestleMania, I didn't complain. I thought it was great. It was hilarious. But you notice in that same event, there's half the crowd, but their back turned to the match. I never turned my back once on that match. No, I never turned my back on it either. On Dolph and I mean, Seth. granted, I was watching the clock half the time. But I watched most of that match. We were chanting, burn it down. It, it's there, but you're not hearing it because you only want to hear the bad stuff. 
If you listen, you'll hear everything. We cheered Seth on the way out. No disrespect to Seth. No disrespect to Dolph. We were just having fun. Now, when does fun blow out of proportion? About 15,000 people, whoever many were there. 18,000. 18,000 people start getting involved. And now there are people in the crowd. I hated it. I hated it. But I guarantee you half of them were doing the chance too. You can't, you can lie anything on the internet. I'm telling you right now, we did not make that up. Our section, if you could talk to anyone from 107, we're the drunken idiots that were sitting up doing it the first three times. Uh, and then all of a sudden, before you know, 18,000 people were close to it, it was like, this is fuck it, join in. When you have to understand here is, it got blown out of proportion, and we get that. We've been watching so many people, and you know what? The hate, fine. You want to call us worse than Montreal? We'll take it. But when you be- yeah, Montreal used to be the most hated wrestling crowd. Now all of a sudden, I'm reading all these comments and tweets. The Pittsburghs are now the most hated uh, wrestling crowd. Good, please Good. bring it. Okay, we don't care. See, we're a hardcore city, whether you want to believe it or not. And there are WWE purists here. There are other brand wrestling purists. Like, there's a lot of New Japan purists here. I don't call them purists. I call them casual fans. And then you got your casual fans. Yeah, but see. We're, we are doing this to be entertainers. We were entertaining a crowd of people. and We, we entertain 18,000 people without a fucking microphone, without a fucking... So what does that say about the pay-per-view? Well, AJ and Rusev was lackluster because they had to cut the match. I feel shorter than it should have been because of the Iron Man match. Now, see that you might say, well, yeah, it is, it is more of an extreme stipulation because of how long they have to wrestle. But extreme rules sounds to me like you're going to pull out the weapons. You're going to put... Gimmick pay-per-views don't work. It's the big thing here. You can't do that. TLC should be a rivalry set- settler. An Extreme Rules match, rivalry settler. I mean, God forbid they have three names for a, had an Extreme Rules match. Two, one of those Extreme Rules, no had, holds barred. They only had sanctioned. one Extreme Rules match the whole fucking night. And then the people go, oh, I guess you didn't watch that Braun Strowman KO match. I did watch it. It was a steel cage match. It was not match. an Extreme Rules match. It was a steel cage match. Not Extreme Hell in a Cell should be a, a big rivalry settler. Money in the Bank should be back at WrestleMania. That's when I loved it the most. When you get pay-per-views, people expect something. And when you have a string of gimmick pay-per-views, like, really, the last pay-per-view was what, Eric? Money in the Bank gimmick. A gimmick pay-per-view. Two gimmick pay-per-views in a row. If you had given us a normal pay-per-view and Seth would have wrestled Dolph on a normal name pay-per-view, like Backlash or something like that, it would have went over better. Or Great Balls of Fire. Even Great Balls of Fire with a shitty name. Like Roadblock. You know, it, it's not the best. But we had a Iron Man match for Roadblock. And we didn't like it either. And it was Sasha and Charlotte. And that match sucked ass. And it wasn't was that bad. the main event too? Yeah. It wasn't it's good. So not because they're women, but because... It wasn't booked well. It wasn't a well-booked match. It was mediocre. Um, I, I think that match suffered the same fate as this. The, yeah, and um, what it is is when you have disinterested fans. I think at that roadblock we were cheering for a goddamn beach ball. One no point. one, no one complained. But here, here, here's something I gotta point out. Last week's raw before this pay for you had its lowest attendance and lowest view rate in a long time. So you guys were fed up with the product too. So for us to then show that, and for all this backlash is just shocking. I mean. You can hate anything we say here, but you got to understand our point. You hated it, too. I hear a lot of these big-name YouTube channels, when we're not, like, what do we have to lose in making this video? Nothing. Nothing, really. We're making we, it we have to everything understand. To gain. We have anything to gain, but we're not doing it that way. We're doing it because we feel like the wrestling community needs an answer, and these wrestlers need an answer. They're never going to see this video, but what you got to understand is when you have a product that the majority of your fans aren't even interested in. You give them something stupid like a clock. I mean, Perry Saturn got a mop over. How bored we a, were we? We? Did, we got a clock over. We got a clock over. How bored can you be? So hate us for the chance. I don't care. I'll gladly take all the hate. But understand why we did it. Don't hate us for doing it, but understand why. To say that was a great match, it was a good match. I watched it again when I got home just to see what I missed, you know, acting like a jackass. It's a good match, but the first few minutes was terrible. That's what we started the chant. It, I don't Um. Yeah, and then what, what do Dolph, you do? Dolph getting four falls in like two minutes made Seth look like an idiot. It made him all look um, like an idiot, and they had 
respectively, they have so much to gain. And when you think about it this way in an Iron Man match, think about it. They had a 27-minute match on Monday Night Raw. Exactly. Right? No, hold on, right? And it took one fall to finish that. Seth pinned Dolph in four minutes. Like, if, when you think about it that way, Iron Man matches actually make you look like a bitch. Oh, this guy's so Everybody strong. Think? Yeah. Our Intercontinental Champion just got pinned three straight times. Oh, no, he didn't because one of them was a disqualification by Drew McIntyre, who then came back and claimed more kicks, Seth. But didn't he get ejected? So he, he got ejected. He's back? not allowed to come back. Comes back in the finish. And then it happens. He screws over Seth. Where was the disqualification then? Oh, wait, no. Dolph still retains. Well. Shouldn't there be a punishment for that if the referee has all say in every ejection? But there isn't. So, wait. So you mean to tell me if I interfere, for example, in one of your matches, and right as a as your manager or ringside person, one if you're not your man, not manager, whatever. So if I get ejected and get on the back, are you just always allowed to come back out and help him no matter what? Now, I don't know. See, booking in TEW is different than real life because you got to understand in this game there is no fan feedback like we got the last goddamn day. I've gotten in so many arguments playing off my heel persona. That's what I am now. I turned heel with that. But I'm telling you all this. Over a clock. Over a clock. We turned heel. This channel turned heel because of a clock in your guys' hate for what we did. So hate us for doing it. I It doesn't bother me. What bothers me is why people don't understand why we did it. There are people who do. They said the pay-per-view was terrible. Can you blame them? Those people get it. The ones that aren't getting it. The ones that are like, oh, you guys are just disrespectful. No. It is not no. just disrespect. Well, it's disrespect for Vince McMahon. I'm sorry that it had to be Seth. I like Seth, and I like Dolph. They are good wrestlers. But you cut all the other matches short. AJ and Rusev should have closed out the night with a main event title. And you can say, oh, The Miz made the IC title a main event title because Brock's never there. But is it really? No. This isn't the 80s. This isn't Warrior versus Hogan. It's none of that. It's 2018. See, the problem is the reason why fans aren't that excited is because wrestlers are overexposed. The overexposure, 205 Live, NXT. Too many shows. Raw Super Shows, Al House Shows. Why do you think Dean didn't come back? He's still hurting. See, why do you think there's so many injuries? Yeah, you have to go with one. You can, you, you either have to go with house shows and have a once a month uh, main event, like once a month pay per view, or you have to do the weekly shows with your pay per views. You can't overexpose okay. people. I'm burnt it's, out. I couldn't. Wa- I can't watch. I didn't raw. watch fucking raw for like two months in a row. You you burn us out. Three hours of Boy, that. Down. Three hours of that they had to take the cruiserweights off the show. And put them on their own show. But with how many wrestling shows, now you're going to create a UK NXT, which... That's, that's what I mean, wrestling. dude. There's like six days of wrestling now. And every pay-per-view now is like a four-hour, five-hour, six-hour, eight-hour event. How oh, yeah. How do you yeah. expect this to Oh, yeah. Action? They did not announce that 6.30 special start time until like a week and a half before. And wh- what, what did we have to gain? We're outside at 6.30. I did not see Almas versus Sin Cara. Neither did he. And I bet you that match was fucking retarded anyway. It was probably bad because Sin Cara, I'm sorry, Punico. Punico. Wasn't that good as it is. You put the Sin Cara mask on, you want to do these flippy shit. He's good at it. But it's not him. It's not the Sin Cara. It's not Sin Cara. It's, I ride, rode a tricycle down with one of the gorillas of destiny. That's what it was. Yeah. I rode, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I like to ride my bicycle. Tricycle. Oh, it was a tricycle. It was a bicycle, but I'm calling it a tricycle being an asshole. But what I'm saying yeah, he is. Rode, he rode a bike and tried to be a cholo. But with shitty gimmicks, shitty matches, shitty match structure, and upon all that. Barely any extreme. Which, you're going to call it Extreme Rules. Give me some more extreme other than an awesome spot. Honestly, KO, wow, is he okay? I I, I like that. That was kind of cool. But to call it Extreme Rules and have James Ellsworth in a shark cage, to have an Iron Man match, to have the tables match on the kickoff show, 
Yeah, shouldn't the tables match been on the... Hell, if Kane was Mansfield? hurt, you should have put that on the pre-show. I mean, I love Daniel Bryan, but... You can't... I wasted $35 on a shitty shirt for what I thought Team Hell No was going to get the SmackDown Tag Team title. And it turns out Kane's hurt. So they do a bullshit impromptu angle. What happened earlier that day, or earlier today... Or what happened backstage just a few minutes. And, and yeah, Kane, we cheered for Kane coming in, but we were even chanting for Hulk Hogan at one point. But you don't hear it because not everyone got on board. Everyone at that point in that Iron Man match in those first couple minutes got bored. The structure of WWE shows is not good. The product isn't good. And you yell at us. You know, when you feel the same way deep down as inside. As much as everyone hates Vince Russo, he makes a valid point on why WWE shows suck now. When you go to commercial, you end on a cliffhanger. What I'm noticing after I watch Raw, they go to commercial in the middle of a match. Are you really going to retain your uh, audience no. that way? No. Like, back in the Attitude Era, you always see, like, they end on cliffhangers to go to, go, to go to commercial. Like... Oh my God, Stone Cold, he's rushing out to the ring. They go, oh, what's going to happen? And it makes you like, oh, dude, I can't change the channel. I, I, I got to see what Stone Cold is going to do. Let me do. just cut to I gotta all see of what our Rock's sponsors do. in the middle. And to be honest, here's the biggest thing. Vince McMahon's leaving for the XFL in two years. Whether he's going to maintain the majority of his control or just go to the XFL is still yet to be he's seen. He's still going to, you know, you know he's still going to But you clearly say. can tell now he still doesn't care. Oh, you didn't put Robin in the main event. You guys. Oh, he cares. You, you know what? No one could say one fall. No one could have beach yeah, falls. We you're not allowed to do ten second. You, you are not allowed to have any fun at events. Look, as soon as everyone started doing one fall, like they do in NXT, like they do in most indie events. No nope, Russian. What did they do? do the following match is scheduled for one fall, like as fast as he can, because he doesn't want the you one know, fall. This is scheduled for one fall, and it's for the, like, only like that, they that don't. Enough give you time they don't want you to have fun you go to wrestling events to have fun with your fellow wrestling fans whether so, yeah. it pisses people off so or not reason, have so, fun in conclusion the reason why we did the whole clock thing was to shove it in their face that yeah we are gonna have fun whether you like it or not and i'm Nothing sorry that it. half most of the internet hates us we broke the internet and whether people care Is about it? anything we said here or not know the fact that our section started the chance. As, as we much as you idiots. hate us, you're talking about us. You're talking about us. And that is all we and need. And you can say we used it to put ourselves over. Not at first. It was just fun at first. It was fun. But then we realized this is going to really be controversial and people are going to hate us for it. Keep going. Why? Because, in the wor- like I said, in the words of the Undisputed Era, shock the system. I mean, it's kind of hard for two people to try to stop thousands of people with no microphone. Yeah, we don't have microphones. We're not stars. No one cares. So, just might as well go with it. Because go with we, it. we started it, might as well finish it. That, that's so, the way believe us or this. not, our section started it. If anyone ever claims to that, we started it. No one else. Hate our channel. Hate us. Love us. It doesn't matter. However you feel on the stance of this, this is the video explaining what happened. It was me, him, and, a bu- and at least seven other people who started this. It's just, I don't know any of them. They were just having fun like the rest of us. So love us or hate us. It doesn't bother me, none. But I feel that the Pittsburgh crowd deserves to be heard why. Some people may have been doing it because they're assholes. We're just really compassionate wrestling fans. We love wrestling. We're just tired of getting shitty shows to Pittsburgh. Royal Rumble 2014. Roadblock Roadblock sucked. Uh, The Monday Night Raw we got was shit uh, before. I mean, the only good thing we had recently was... Now we're we're getting house shows. Now we're getting house shows. We're getting incorrect December 29th. Hey, that's the company. we're going going to that house show on December 29th. December 29th, this is the company that everyone loves. This is the number one company in the world, December 29th. They can't even figure out what the 29th is. The 29th. You know, the, an ST goes after first. But here, here, you know what's even more funny? Elias was nowhere to be found on that show. I like Elias. He's a Pittsburgh guy. Mm-hmm. And he was great. He, I love the walk with Elias. I wanted to say walk with Elias, but he was nowhere to be found. He couldn't even get a pre-show match. Neither did Titus O'Neil. Titus world, Worldwide? 
didn't even come out either. World Slide. Yeah, World Slide. He didn't get a match either. And, and you then, can call us funny. And like this one guy on our our video, our fucking heel promo, goes, oh, you bought the shitty Daniel Bryan shirts. I never bought the new gay shirts. And I don't know if he's trying to say the shirts suck or if he's trying to say he doesn't like the new day. buying any new gear in WWE puts out. Like, he's, he's this old wrestling fan. Like, yeah, what the fuck are you watching for? And why are you watching? Why do you care? Why do we watch? Because it's fun. Why do I watch the G1? It's fun. Why would I go to an ROH show when it comes I mean, down? It's fun. Why do I go to death matches? It's I mean, fun. I'm sorry. Just to prove. I, I got this poster when I was like, I don't know, five. Right. Okay. It's a WWF poster. Okay. That's, that, I got that when I was five years old. All right. That doesn't show you how long I've been a goddamn fan. And plus, you got all the stickers up there. That was back. That, those are stickers from 07. It, that, that's a signature moves poster of everybody. Kurt Angle, Rob Van Dam, Kane. You got Rock, fucking Rock Bottom, and uh, Chris Benoit there. So, yeah. I mean, I've been a long-time fan. So, yeah. I, can, I, I think I'm worthy of saying I'm a passionate fan. Okay? But here's what really interests me. At this show, I had some random belligerent drunk, worse than me, ask when I was born... Oh, you don't know shit about the Attitude Era. I was like, dude, I was... Or no, you don't know shit about what Bruno San Martino did. That too. I'm like... Well, no, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know if he did. To, I don't have to watch but every I, his goddamn son, match he his, ever did. His son is a barber. His son cuts my hair. I've seen the WWF title hung up in the shop. I've seen the posters of Bruno. I've seen the pictures. I've seen the Hall of Fame stuff. It's there. I'm not making this up. But to say that I haven't talked to his son about some of his father's great accomplishments is one thing. I know the story about why Bruno hated WWE for the longest time. Because they fucked over his brother. Well, his son. But they fucked over my barber's brother, which is Bruno's other son. He's one of his wings. And he's the barber. I think it was... Man, I can't remember his name now because it escapes me. Daryl San Martino? Daryl was the wrestler. Daryl and Danny. And we live in the same town they live in. I've seen, I've met Bruno. I've met Ric Flair back in the day when Reed used to wrestle. I wrestled at the same wrestling tournament because I've done actual wrestling. So don't tell me that I don't know anything about an Iron Man match when I can do the same style technical wrestling that you would see in one of those matches. I've met Ric Flair. I've met Reed Flair back when he was still alive. I, you just I, didn't know it. I didn't know. But. I knew who Ric Flair was. I'm like, you're the guy who goes, you're the guy that goes, woo! You know what I mean? And I met Kurt. I have. But I, I met Eric Angle. If, you were, if you're a fan long enough, you know who Eric Angle is. That's fucking hilarious. He's a wrestling... Um, he has a, he, right down the street uh-huh. from Eric Johnson's house. Uh-huh. Eric Angle owns... Hey, yeah, I was, getting, I was getting my hair cut, and uh, we seen Eric Angle walk down the street. I'm like, oh my god, I don't want to talk to him. But I was getting my hair cut. But it's it's funny. We're compassionate fans to the point where, you know, I, I used to at my old job. A guy used one of the guys who played Doink. I've talked to him. Me and him talked about wrestling sh- stuff. Wasn't he the original? No, he was one of the ones. See, Matt Bloom was the Doink, the clown, but he wouldn't wrestle everywhere. There was multiple doinks. This guy proved to me he was one of them. I even looked it up on the internet. He was one of the doinks. He showed me his actual name, everything. He was one of the doink the clowns. And me and him sat there while I was on shift. I got yelled at multiple times for a half hour just talking about wrestling. I've met people who I'm, I, I'm close to now in a wrestling chat group working at my old job because he was wearing a wrestling shirt and I commented on it. Wrestling brings us together. So... To divide each other over a chant? Why? Have fun at shows. It's why you go. Why not Look, just sit home and watch I mean, on TV? Don't, don't you get that WWE does not want you to have fun at shows? They just want it their way. They're number one in the world. Why do they care? So when New Japan comes over to the United States, look what WWE, WWE did. They kicked ROH out of Madison Square Garden. It took New Japan to back them up to actually get the show back. That happened. WWE's not nice people. They don't care. That's why they really shit shirts. Yeah. They just want your money. I mean... So, sorry that we hijacked the show on I, a good match. I think match. I bought this shirt to prove a point. This is probably going to be the last it one for a little while. I mean, 
This is what they tried to sell, okay? It looks like a midget going like this. That. He this bought shit. that. I told him not I, to. I did this as a point. Look at this shit. Because I knew I was going to bring this up in the video. This is terrible. What kind of fucking shirt is this? Who thought putting a cane mask with two fucking beady little arms and like that was a good idea? Like, what the fuck, dude? But, One of the worst shirt but designs. In full and on the back, I guess, I mean, the only redeeming factor is having the team's name on there. I mean, but... But in conclusion, you see what the Young Bucks do with the being elite. Lazy as shit. See, that's another thing. Look at the Young Bucks. They're not contracted by WWE. They have their own YouTube channel. An actual nice design. Being the elite, people hang on to that as if it was a wrestling show. So what are we doing here? We entertain. It's what we did. So at the show, we had fun. And we got backlash for it. I mean, and, look at this shirt. Actually, has a design. Tells you who they are. You're right, Young Bucks. They're and that's them. The, the tassels. tassels and the headbands. I mean, it also shows you. So hey, is look. Daniel Bryan hey, only arms? Hey, look. They're, they look, only hey, look, a they're mask. Bullet Club. All right. That's what the guns mean. But what I'm saying here is have fun at wrestling events. Whether the internet hates you the next day, don't be afraid to have fun. You want to cheer for beach balls? Cheer for beach balls. You want to cheer for a clock? Cheer for a clock. Yeah, things will get carried away. It always happens. Like the CM Punk chants. They got carried away for the longest time. I'm a huge CM Punk mark. And he's so a I huge CM those. Punk mark. So in conclusion, if you want to hate anyone, hate the product. The fans want to have fun and to have a shitty match structure behind it. A show structure, a gimmick pay-per-view that barely lives up to its name. So have fun at events. You might piss off the internet for a couple days, but for people to then wish death threats on a crowd? Did you see that? Yes. Oh, every one of them. Chris Burke should just be, like, hit by a bomb. Oh, my God. Shit like that. Like, oh, I hope they all get cancer. What the fuck is wrong with you? We're wrestling fans, damn it. It's like a family. Remember, you are the outcast. Wrestling isn't always as big as it is. People make fun of us daily for liking wrestling. So instead of making fun of each other, band together. Have fun at shows. Wear your wrestling stuff with pride. I got made fun of in high school all the time. I still get made fun of. I'm 22 goddamn years old getting made fun of because I like wrestling. I get made fun of. But then again, people sit there and watch Game of Thrones and act like that's the real shit. People watch Sons of Anarchy like that was real shit. P.S. Those shows are scripted too. Yeah. So, again, have fun at shows. Enjoy yourselves. It's wrestling. Everyone will get over it. And if you feel like you need to entertain, entertain. If you feel like you get that, how about those guys? Oh, you have seeds better because you know, they're fucking yeah, guys just hugging up on each other like this the whole time. You know, oh yeah. But as we see, again, Man. have fun. Like, look at that. He just did something completely random. It's funny. Well, no, I mean, you know, I love when I go. Yeah, watch you. I love UFC. Okay, I do. But don't if tell any, me it's better than wrestling. I mean, come on. They're practically hugging each other, dude. I, I, I'm almost tempted to think that I'm watching a gay porno every time I watch a UFC fight. No, I do. Until they beat the fuck out of each other's faces. Well, no, but, yeah, stand up. No, I'm saying whenever they're hugging each other, like whenever they're on the cage, guys up against them on the cage, like, oh, yeah, come here. I mean, I, I'm almost... It seems like they're scripting out what they're going to do. I think I'm watching a gay porno. hug on each other. But what I'm, again... Side notes, oh, well, besides which, the point well, well, of UFC, which we're not well, talking well, 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 about. Speaking of which, speaking of which on that, um, isn't it kind of funny that now all of a sudden Conor McGregor is like stir, stirs up some shit, right? Throwing a fucking uh, dolly into the bus window. I mean, come on, you really think he's doing that on his own merit? I mean, now all of a sudden they're taking WWE shit. I remember the one uh, post-match interview the one uh, fighter had, and then all of a sudden like uh, the other uh, dude's uh, people... To stand by him for going up against, they were like going, getting up in his face during his interview, and they all had to get broken up. Dude, they're taking WWE's writing style. But what it sucks, you guys gotta understand, sports entertainment so, and legitimate tell, fighting I, shit. That's just something I had to do for all the MMA only people. Like, don't tell me that your sport's better whenever Dana White is copying off Vince McMahon. And Vince McMahon's not that good anymore. He's out of touch. He's out of touch with his fans. He, th- he thinks he's still writing an early 90s fucking TV show. But again, guys, have fun. Hate, don't hate the crowd. 
don't give them so much flack because if you were there, you probably would have done it too. So give us a modern product, asshole. Give us a more modern product. And maybe we won't bitch as much. If I want to see 1992. Oh, I'll, shit. Whoa. I broke everything. Yay. Hi, guys. But, um, yeah, have fun at shows. Understand where we're coming from. Listen to this whole video. Go ahead. If not, at least understand this is what happened. It got blown out of proportion. Internet, stop sending death threats to fellow wrestling fans. Because they're there to see the same pro shit product you are. You know, deep down inside, you know the product shit. Sorry it had to happen during Seth and Dolph, which probably should start out the show. And yeah, oh, Roman's not in the... You should have been happy. I'd have been happier if the WWE title, the one with the 60 years of goddamn lineage, would have start been the last match, not second to last. There is one main event. It's never the last. It's always the universal title now. But the, the champ's not here, and they had to, you know, do this stupid story like he's showing up in UFC. But long story short, we are the Berg Wrestling. We explained what happened. Have fun at wrestling shows. Don't hate the crowd for what happened. Hate WWE for making it happen. Okay? Now have a good night. Anything else? Uh, no, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, peace out. So sorry if this seems so amateur, but it's what we needed to say. Good off our chests. All right? Bye.